everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? Oh, I'm doing so good. Hopefully you guys are doing great. Today we're back again here in our hardcore world and we're going to be heading off into the western town in a little bit. I got some stuff that I've been building over there. You guys got to see and we're going to be adding an awesome saloon over there for potion brewing. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Also, thank you to everybody who passed by the last live stream, the second official live stream here from the hardcore world and we had a lot of fun. We got 20 eight diamonds in one of these what, what which one was it it was a combination of four and five but we also almost died on that stream what a great time that was let me know if you guys were at the stream put hashtag i was there sausage and i saw you almost die because I, I fell in a in a one pocket of lava but you know what this water bucket right here saved my life that's right i was able to get out of it by just splashing the water down i was so lucky it wasn't trapped under the obsidian it would have been over on the live stream but if you guys want to catch those live streams follow me on twitter Twitch. It's always linked in the description if you guys want to join on the fun. I'm going to try to see if I can get at least three streams a week. Okay, we're going to mix in this one, maybe some Legacy, maybe some Rust, maybe some other games, but uh, definitely making this one a priority to come back here and possibly, potentially almost die. Uh we're fine. Also, thank you so much for all the amazing name suggestions for my sword on the last episode. I asked you guys, give me some good names. We got it. Eternal Plunder. That is perfect for a pirate-like name. Also, during the stream, I got rid of the enchantments on this helmet and on these stupid pants because they were horrible. They were like protection three with unbreaking or maybe just protection by itself. So I was able to get these lovely books. We got these combinations right here from our librarian villagers. And I'm just going to see if the levels we got is good enough to give you some good stuff. So uh, let me just do, let me do my pants first. Always good to do the pants first. You know, I got to put my pants on. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw in uh, projectile protection. We got some mending on that. And we got some unbreaking. Now what I need from you guys, you know what to do. Give me some names. Give me names for these pants. Give me some good pant names. Uh, the, the best wins for the next episode. Also, helmet. Let's go. Um, uh, unbreaking. Mending. And a Wait, that's projectile protection. I put the wrong proje protection! Hold on, let me get good protection. Jeez. You're the friend I need, not the other one. Uh, hold on, do I have... Yes, I do. What did I get slam balls? I don't even know. Give me some of, of this protection. I should change the other one, but you never know. It's always good to have some projectile protection, and if I'm gonna put it in any armor piece, might as well be the pants, right? <laughs> might as well. And there it is. Only seven. All right, now, give me a name for this helmet. Please, please, please. So there it is. New pants, new helmet. We're doing pretty good. Now, let's put this on. Hey, I just noticed. This doesn't have mending on it. Hold on. Do we have an extra? No, we got feather fall. Ooh. I forgot to put Okay, this is a priority. Stay in there. This is a priority. Air sausages, come on down. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, perfect. Okay, now I'm naming these. The air sausages, these are the 20... The 21s. Collector's item. Bam. We also need many on that. Um, do I have any left? I actually don't think I do, but guess what? Oh, good kitty! Oh my god, you scared me! What are you doing with Carlos's, uh, uh third cousin on, on his grandmama's side? Uh, do I have fish? I have fish. Hold on. Come here, kitty! Hi, hi, welcome, welcome. You know what? You got nowhere to go. Oh, great. My friend Grassy's been here. Come here. There you go! You're cute! Wow, I love that cat. That's a beautiful cat. Stupid Enderman. Let's go. Come with me. I need you upstairs for creeper protection. But during the live stream, we were actually able to get one of these new ones um, into a mending boy. And it's only 10, so don't tell Mando. They're a little expensive. I have him over there breeding away like a crazy breeder boy. Getting more iron golems by the minute. But I was able to get this guy for 10 emeralds only. So you know what? Come here. Come on. Uh, let me put this on. Do I, I don't know if there's enough levels for it, but let me check. Air sausages for two, please. It's three. Ugh. I'll be back. Thank you, Kitty, for trying to help me make that. You're the best. Also, why not name that cat? Go ahead. Go crazy. Put hashtag cutie cat. Carlos, you're still up there. Man, you know what? I'm going to get Carlos down. I think he's scared to get down. Carlos, get on down, please. Finally. Been stuck there for three days. Sorry, Carlos. Here, take care of that dirt for me. So oh, nice. Come on, Kitty. Let's get out of here. Uh, they should teleport. Uh, I, oh, I should have closed that for Carlos. I think we solved the case of how Carlos got up to that spot right here. I think he literally came up this uh, bubble column. And he just started walking around here. He's like, oh. Like that. Just went right back down. <laughs> Kitty. What was that? Oh, you're a magician now. Oh. Um. Um. Hi, creamy cat. Um. There's a creeper there. Mind uh, taking care of them for us. Oh, it's bad guys ever. I'm going to make a daytime. Hold on a second. Wait for me there, cute kitty. Creamy cat, protect me. I'm going to run out, okay? One, two. Oh! Where did he come from? Get 
out of here. Oh, God. It's okay. He's going to burn in the sun. It's fine. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's in. He's dead also. Thank you for your help. No, no, nothing. The creepers are still down there in their crews. Where did the other um creeper go? Oh, that's scary. There's a creeper on the loose somewhere on this island. We gotta be careful. Also, check this out. We got bamboo finally. This is so cool. In the live stream, we found a uh, well, a sunken ship, and it had four pieces of these lovely little bits of amazingness. Oh, scaffold. Finally, I, I might actually. Uh, replace one of the sugar canes with this lovely thing and we can have an unlimited amount coming up We also have another one over here. Hi. Is it okay if I can break this while you're looking to the distance? Thank you. Oh lovely. Oh bamboo man the things you find seriously Grassy or Enderman Grassy has been at work over here uh, I, I technically killed them, but they came back to life. It was a, a long story. Oh, and check this out. This guy literally came all the way down from that way and made its way back here, back home to their original house. Well, um, their family members right there, uh, but it's fine. They can hang out there all they want. Also, check this out. I added something really, really cool down here in the basement. The ones who were there at the live stream, they got an exclusive preview of it. Uh, we have a little bit of a barracks down here now. Check it out. Bam! Look how cool. Uh, we did have other uh, stonemasons. They have uh, since uh, disappeared, but it's fine. Uh, let's try to get some more later on. This was a little bit of a workstation for them, but we have ourselves a little bit of a barracks. This is temporary for now. I might keep this part, but I'm going to be expanding down this way. And a lot of people were saying a good idea is to maybe once you have the fortress up, we can have like a little underground uh, area to walk around, and this could be a spot. This could be a tunnel that you can go underground, underneath, uh, and have like ex escape tunnels underneath the fortress once it's all built up. So that's going to be an awesome little spot. We can even do a little bit more detail work down there, maybe a little bit of a cellar. Uh, a wine cellar might be pretty cool. I don't want to do like a huge one though, because it really wouldn't make sense. Because there's no like, a, it's not like, I don't have space for a wine vineyard or anything over here. So I don't know if we're going to set that up that crazy, but a nice little, little spot for extra storage would be pretty cool um also um uh, the llamas broke in i'll do something for them later and we added more things here to the project board uh sheep farm okay the potion uh, brewing is gonna go into the saloons so we're gonna do that later cactus farm is coming i think the whole top row right here is gonna be going into the western town the rest down here though we're doing it on this side iron farm i think i'm gonna put it over there which is right now a tree island but it's gonna turn into something else later on we're gonna put a nice volcano over there we're gonna put some cool stuff a little pirate cove hi I was waiting for you. Where were you hanging out at? Hanging out with Cream Cat? Cute. Uh, pumpkin Melon Farm, we're going to be doing it downstairs. The Blacksmith is going to go in the fortress. And the Flower Farm is not going to go anywhere near here. I'm thinking we find a flower forest maybe one day and do it over there. We have a little outpost or something. That'll be kind of cool. Hey, Cat. Want to come with me? Uh, let me position this cat in a nice place for creeper repellentage. Is that a word? It is now. That's a good spot for you. Protect us when we come out of this place. Don't let creepers kill us. Also, hardly any organization yet. A little bit only right here with some of the woods. And that's pretty much it. And we did uh, add the rest of the chest doing that live stream. So we're good to go. I'm going to do an organization stream one of these days. So, you know, follow me over there if you want to you know, see that happen. It's pretty boring. But, you know, what? at least you can hang out with me while I get bored and we get bored together. But I love this little storage build. It's so cool. We're going to be adding a bunch more stuff in this area. But you know what? For right now, I think we're heading over to the western town. Oh, you saw that parkour? Was nice. Actually, before we go to the western town, let me head over to the basement really quick and switch up uh, the sugar cane for this bamboo on the other side. I think it'll help us out greatly to get a bunch of bamboo. I don't think we're going to need that much uh, sugar cane, to be honest. We have a lot right now. Twins! Pancake! Waffles! Still need more name tags. We'll get some soon. Uh, I'm going to switch up this side. Give me a second. There it is. It was as easy as that. And this thing grows so fast. If I just stand here, just talking with you guys, hanging out just for a few seconds... This is literally going to get to the top and ka chunk ka chunk and we're going to get a bunch of bamboo just in a couple moments. Watch this. It goes way faster than this side. Here it goes. Come on. Make me proud. Five, four, three, two, one. Ka chunk ka chunk. There it is. Look how fast. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. So there it is. So if you guys did build this side, uh, you could definitely do another one and it'll be the same whole process. It is time. Let's get on out of here. We're heading over to the western town. Let me show you the cool stuff that I've been up to. 360 no scope in the water. Let's go. Close enough. Getting better at that every time though. Oh, I see a drown there. If I drown, I ain't messing with you. And welcome back to the western town of Spider Canyon here in the hardcore world. I got some stuff I got to show you. Number one, let's 
start with this little path that leads us to a really cool spot. Right over here, we got ourselves a wagon. Oh, this is so cool. I'm definitely inspired by my source block base that we had back in the day. And this is really, really cool. We got little wheels too on the bottom. I'm, I got inspired actually by my friend Chim on uh, on Legacy for this one. He had these little, little tiny little wheels on the bottom and that looks really, really fun. So I wanted to add these little, it looks like a little cartoon wheel. Uh, but what do you guys think of the wagon? Uh, it's super cool. Definitely inspired by my original one, but I did some tweaks on it, so it looks pretty awesome. Uh, also, added a little bit of dirt down here. Regular old dirt, a little bit of coarse dirt. I gotta bring in some grass, so we might actually go off and find some and just bring it back here. I wanna put some of that uh, Mesa dirty grass. It looks really, really cool down here. We got ourselves a little campsite here on the side as well, and this looks so awesome. I love these little trap doors here. We got some strips spruce at the bottom. A nice uh, little uh, bottom end to that. Uh, I started adding a little bit of tree action over here. Some shrubbery, uh, which looks awesome with the bushes right there. The berries is looking awesome though. We can actually get up here, but it's a little tricky. We gotta do some parkour to get in here, but it's worth it. Check this out. Actually, I think we can just do it from here. Yes, and look at the inside. This is awesome. Hold on, let me get on in. So there's a little spot that we can sleep out here uh, in the wilderness, a little bed action. Uh, we got some storage here on the side and we can always pop out to the back right there. Oh, what do you guys think? Put a little bit of a mix here of uh, some of the smooth quartz with some of um, the wool and it looks really, really nice. I have finally some interior right here. Deputy Chodiso is excited. Where are they at? Deputy, what's up, man? You, you enjoyed this? You like this thing, man? Deputy Chodiso loves it, but you know what? They're ready. Ready for their sheriff station. <laughs> they, they need that station, man, so they can get to work right now. They're on vacation, but check out this little spot. What do you guys think of this? This is our little Janny station because downstairs we do have our poisonous spider XP farm, so we can technically come up here and do our enchanted. We got a nice little cross beam here on the top. I love this shelving unit over here. Some extra barrels on that side. Extra barrels over here with Deputy Chorizo. What are you, what's up, man? Here, go go get some outlaws out there in the world. Imagine if he can actually pick it up and shoot me with it. That'd be kind of messed up. And then also, if you notice down here, I got some outlining going. Uh, so I got a, uh, a saloon idea right here. What do you guys think of this outline? Uh, so I did it. It just had a terracotta, the outline for now. Uh, and just random junk here to outline pretty much how we're going to set this up. So we got some uh, chairs right here. A little table in the middle with some chairs around it. Another one here. One more. One more on this side this is how the bar configuration is going to be uh so it's going to pretty much be a little a bit of a U. Uh, back here, we're going to have all of our brewing stations. I got a little pop-out area here, which looks pretty cool. Uh, and then back here, we got another little step up that's going to take us to a second floor hidden in the back area. Kind of like how we did here, but in its own little style. I'm not going to put anything against this wall because I'm thinking about attaching another building uh, then keep going down this little strip. Also, over here, I got plans. This is for future stuff. I want to do a little bit of a horse stable section so people can like park their horses in here. So we got one, two, three stalls, and then over here i want to do like a little general store so they're just ideas i was getting as i was hanging out here in this spot and then this connects and keeps going down that direction uh but also another cool idea i have if you guys remember during legacy season one we had an awesome terracotta shop and in that shop we had this really cool little mexican adobe style houses were kind of like blocky but in multi-colored uh configurations and in different elevations right up against this wall where we see all of those mine shafts i want to go ahead and give it like little facades of that uh, so it's going to go all the way in the back area right here on this side i'm thinking about doing it over there on that side too but for right now i think we could do it over here on this end and we'll save that for a project coming up too so cool if you guys haven't checked that out i'm going to put a link in the description so you guys go back and look at that style it is so cool if you guys uh seen that style if you were around during legacy season one and saw that build style let me know in the comment section because that man do you think that would look cool in this I I think it would look pretty cool in this area. But you know what? I'm ready to do some building. So let me get some materials together uh, and we'll start lifting up some blocks here. It's definitely not gonna be terracotta based. Uh, we're gonna get some wood in this thing. So this is the idea I got for the uh, the front facade window. I was trying to play around, make it a little bit more unique, a little bit different, adding some more textures in here. So we did bring a little bit of a cha-cha wood right here on the bottom. We got some of these stairs right here with spruce going down. We got some upside down ones and we got this two open spots and then oak on the top with this nice little overhanging awning looking kind of thing which looks really really awesome with the unlit campfire and uh, the trap doors and the fence gates <laughs> it looks pretty nice i like it so let me show you how i 
did it. It's super simple. Uh, also, I have like little uh, edges here with just regular oak. Every three, we got one. And then back here, we got a little like wrap around. We're going to lift this and elevate it by one since so we get a little bit more detail into this. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this little outline. So we got this going down like that. So one, two, and three. This one goes down like so. One goes up. One goes up on this side, leaving these two open. Then I'm going to bring in some of the oak just like that. Wrap it all the way around. Get some trap doors. One on the top. One on the bottom. Close those in like that. I'm going to put a gate. I'm going to put it right here on the top. You just got to shift click that one. Then I grab a campfire block. I like putting it sideways like this because you get the little pop out log on the top. See those little logs facing outwards? I like it like that a little bit better. Then I'm going to extinguish that. There it is. Trap door on this side and on this side. I put this on the lower level and that's it that looks so cool i love it that is awesome we're gonna add that all the way around as well which is gonna look pretty awesome now the next thing i want to go ahead and put a little bit of a platform up here with just slabs going down like this i'm gonna take it up to this level uh and then what i'm planning on doing is right at the edge of this i'm gonna bring in some of the trap doors and line it up like this so we get a little bit of detail there from that trap door to slab uh, transition which is gonna look awesome and then the only way to get in here would be to come up this right here on this edge oops rip get out of here and then i'm gonna lift these up one more time this is gonna transition straight to the next build and we're gonna have another overhang another area here and it's cool because it's a little bit elevated right that <laughs> makes it look really really awesome i might have like a little drop down that goes down into this area too we'll see though when we get to that but right here that's looking awesome a little way up right on this edge and then right here i'm just gonna put some fences i'm gonna go with oak for now but i think maybe spruce and then over here just some fences every other one gates in the middle i might replace these with oak for a little bit of a change of texture but for right now i think it's looking all right uh we might also take this up again right to this level and we could do either a balcony or a roof i'm not sure if i want a balcony on this end i don't think i'm gonna put balconies on every single one just like we have on this side i want to make it look a little bit different so maybe just a roof on this one but we'll see when we get to it but right now though i'm really liking this little front entrance there we go that's looking awesome added the little archways in place and it is looking so cool we got to dress up the bottom maybe add some more details maybe some coarser some grass some bushes but our front is good to go now also going to do a little bit of an archway here and then we're going to have our you know the patented uh swinging gates in the front of uh the the saloon in here too um i think the best way to do it is maybe with trap doors uh we'll, we'll figure that out later but for right now i'm gonna go ahead and put the flooring down and then i'm gonna th do these same windows right down this side so it's gonna look like this going down i'm gonna replace definitely these right here with uh the acacia so it's gonna look pretty cool and match all the way down so let's go ahead and just wrap this all the way around this thing this wraparound is looking so good. Now, I went against the uh, keeping this side clean and adding an attachment to this one because I, I was thinking about it. The elevation is kind of a little bit too high. Uh, and then connecting the next one, then everything is going to be really high. And then we could probably have to do a drop down and it's going to look a little awkward. So I'm going to put the saloon on its own, separate. And then I'm going to do like a little bit of an alleyway that goes this way. And then the other buildings are going to start connecting from this alleyway from that way <laughs> and i think that'll be better and it looks so cool on its own i added this little bit on the back here to get up to the second floor so it's not completely attached to the back so it's a little bit extended out and i did see a lot of concept art that some stairs are kind of like uh, pushed off to the corner to the side which i think it looks really cool now another thing that i really want to do is a little bit of a like a transition from the first and the second floor so i'm thinking about uh, doing it right at that beam level before we get to the next level and i think the next level we're just going to pretty much repeat what we did here up on the top so i got that ready to go i went against the balcony uh and now we have the roof like this and it's a broken looking roof which looks really really cool there with slabs with stairs with trap doors and it's looking awesome. I also started adding a couple barrels here uh, in these little gaps, these little uh, where the arches meet. And that's looking also on this side. Uh, I went uh, and I stopped right at this level. See this little pop-out extension, which adds so much detail, a little bit more depth to the build, which looks awesome. So it's not just exactly mirrored on the other side, but I put a little roof, a little capped roof right there over the little pop-out extension. And it's looking awesome. We got another window here in the center. And then for the back, uh, this is how we got the stair. Look how cool. So it's different than this one because this one kind of goes right at the edge. So we kind of had to block off whatever was happening there. For this one, we kept the windows. Well, I took the awning off this one because it really doesn't make any sense. Usually it's there for like to, to stop the wind or any rain or anything since we have an overhang. I didn't see a, a point to put that awning looking thing here. But 
this looks cool, right? It's a little popped out. And then it's just a two wide instead of a three. And this goes up to the top, and this leads us here to the next floor. And then up here, we're going to have a little inn, which is going to look awesome, I think. Just thinking about it, maybe back here we had like a little one of those pianos, uh, those little organs, you know, that, that uh, people play in the, in the Wild West days. There's a little piano player there in the back. I think that might be a cool thing. I don't think I've done a piano in a very long time, so we got to figure that out. Uh, now, the next thing we're going to do, uh, the transition, the little lining up here on the side. Let me see how we can make that look. The second floor is in place. Pretty much a mirror job from the bottom and it's looking really, really awesome. I am in love. Now, I gotta figure out what to do for that roof up there. We could go with inspiration of what we did here. This is the typical style, giving you that nice little flat piece here in the front and then a little lower section in the back. Uh, and we can do that again, but I'm thinking about doing something a little bit different than just adding a flat like line like that, like it's just flat there. What if we add a pop out like this right in the front, right? To make it look pretty cool. Then we have like a regular like uh, A-frame roof in the uh, in the back. Uh, and then it'll connect to the to the back side. I think it'll look pretty nice. What do you guys think? Uh, let me let me figure that out. But for right now, I did a little bit of separation already up here in the in section. So let me know what you guys think. So when we come in, we have little uh, rooms. I gotta put a door here still. So we got little rooms. These are like um, the cheaper rooms, right? So it's just like a little too wide uh, little hole right there. So this is the cheap section. This is where you would come in and um, ask for a room, right? And pay, whatever. Uh, and possibly get robbed by bandits, whatever. And then these are the more expensive rooms here on this side. So they think the three wides are here. So three expensives, uh, two cheap, and two more cheap ones here. Uh, and I think this is pretty awesome. Back here we could do a little bit of a shelving unit. The ceiling is pretty plain, but you know what? I'm okay with it. Uh, and then over here, I'm gonna have maybe a little seating area or something like that and I think this will look pretty nice as far as the first floor let me show you drop down easy quick access to get um, to the saloon <laughs> what do you guys think uh, so far I haven't done really much I did a little bit here uh, for designing this little back part so the bar is looking pretty nice I got the brewing stands here ready uh, to go some kegs here on the side extra barrel storage there on the corner and I think that looks pretty nice. We still need to put a little piano on this side and then maybe uh, over here, I'm not sure, maybe like a little bit of a shelf or something uh, to stack up here on the side might be okay. I think we still need to add more details here, uh, but it's looking pretty good. I like the ceiling a lot. So we got some slabs and trapdoor, and then over here we got a, a little row going up. You see that nice curve going upwards like that? I kind of like that. We got full blocks and slabs and trapdoors on each side just to break up the ceiling. And I think that looks pretty cool. Now, next up, we gotta work out what to do for that roof. Uh, wish me luck. I'm gonna try to see if we can come up with a cool new design. I think we got ourselves a really awesome saloon here. Check this out. We got a roof. We got some details. The interior is almost kind of, it's there. It's pretty good. So here we go. Our saloon. You know what? Before I even show you, we need a name. Name this saloon in the comment section. Here it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeehaw. Bam. Oh, look at that. Is that a cool roof? I love it. I love the uh, the recessing in there, adding that uh, acacia in the background, giving you that different color texture variation in there. That looks cool. Look at that. Also, a little pop-out right there showing you that it's a saloon. Well, technically, it's a brewing location. Whatever. It looks cool. Um, but I love that little pop-out. As far as the other side of the roof, let me show you. There it is. So we got that little bit of an outline there in the transition. And then just slabs going up in a simple step pattern, meeting up in the center, then some trap doors and some more slabs on the top. But the back of the saloon is looking just as good as the front. What do you guys think? I love that little transition there with the acacia. Kind of recent in a little bit to the top some signs there in the top as well I added some extra barrels uh, right here so just to get a little bit more detail and I think we did pretty good C considering we didn't really do a lot of recessing in like up here like most of this is flat but using those stairs like that really add that extra bit of depth that it, it definitely needed but let me show you the, uh, the the actual in section I added some interior so let's walk on in really quickly right here we just have a little bit of a bush shelving unit right here and then each room of the little ones here look pretty much similar it's pretty simple but it does the trick we got some shelving up here with some beds here it's pretty much matching right there different color beds to make it look cool right here for the uh, the receptionist area uh, just added a little potted plant we have some barrels there to keep the money it's almost like a little safe back there which looks cool little bush composter trick and then these little ones all 
kind of match together with the same style. The bigger ones are pretty much the same, uh, but you know, just a little bit bigger. It's just extra beds here, some more shelves, uh, a little bed, a little desk here, a little hat rack, more shelving, and then the same thing over here, a little uh, desk here, some shelves and stuff like that. What do you guys think of the inn though? I love it. This is pretty cool. Let's go downstairs. For the saloon itself, I do have, uh, well, I did keep this kind of little uh, entrance right there, the little uh, moving, uh, what's this thing called? The little flappy door, whatever it's called. Uh, I did add a carpet in the middle just to add a little bit more detail with that. So it's a little bit of uh, just great carpet, just broken up. Uh, the flooring, I also messed it up a little bit by adding some of the strip spruce, some trap doors as well. Up here, just added some, uh, just uh, hanging plants right there, some plant action. Why not? You know, even though it's going to be a lot of bar fights in here, those things might get knocked down. But you know what? It's going to look good uh, in the meantime. Uh, for the piano, the little organ in the back, this is the best I could do with a one wide. I think it looks pretty cool. If we had a little bit more space, I think it could have done a little bit better. But I used some looms there, kind of sideways, it looking pretty cool. And then a little bit of a lift over here, what I've usually seen on pianos, which is awesome. In the corner, just added some composts with bushes there. A little shelving unit on this side. Over here, I pretty much left it how it was before. Uh, I just added a little bit of uh, detail there with uh, some oak fence gates, which looks pretty awesome. Also, more hat rack kind of thing. You threw a hat, throw your big old 10 gallon hat right there. I think that's what it's called, whatever. Uh, but also, uh, I think I might do a little bit of a cellar or a basement to have um, maybe a little section for nether wart. Because for right now, I put the nether wart in the back, uh, just kind of just thrown there. But I think a little cellar. Uh, maybe we can set it up right down over here on this side. See, I put some nether wart there. Uh, maybe down here, we could do a little bit of a cellar. Uh, I think it would be pretty cool. Hi, trapdoor. Uh, and we could keep more of the nether wart because we are going to do a lot of brewing over here. So might as well have a good supply of that. Uh, or maybe I could just put it inside one of the Adobe style houses we do later on. But what do you guys think of the saloon? Oh, man. I'm super proud of it. I think this has to be my favorite Western build. I think it's up there. It has to be one of the top three, uh, but it goes really well with the build we did here on the side. And I love this little alleyway connection there, which is pretty cool, but I do need some dark oak. I need it. I might go uh, for a little bit of an exploratory run to see if we can find it because we only have four wood types right now. We have spruce, we have oak, we have acacia, and we have birch, birch, birch whatever. Uh, but <laughs> I want to go ahead and see if I can get some dark oak and we might mix in some colors here and there. But for right now, this is looking awesome. These guys are in love. They're happy. They're waiting right now to finish work. Look, he's waiting at the door. It's like, I, I'm waiting for happy hour. I want to go over here and see what kind of deals we have. Uh, I want to see if I can get some more villagers and have them work inside the saloon as well. And Deputy Chorizo, oh man, Deputy, let me let him know. Deputy, the saloon is open if you want to get down there and do a little bit of justice uh, seeking because there's going to be some bar fights very, very soon. You better get down there, man. Trust me, you know, it's going to be craziness. I'm going to leave the door open for you, okay? <laughs> he just wants his sheriff station. But look at this thing. Oh, it looks so good next door. But for right now, I am out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. You know what? We need a name for the saloon. Let me know in the comment section. What should we call it? Oh, I can't wait to keep expanding. Maybe next episode we tackle that little horse stable slash general store. Maybe outline this area. We do need to do some terraforming by adding a little bit of dirt, a little bit more grass, and make it look really, really cool going down that row. Maybe add some custom trees as well, but I'm super excited for Spider Canyon. What do you guys think, though? Oh, it's looking awesome. But I'm out. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.